Hi, welcome to AnimalSmith.com. And today I'm going to introduce you to bullet swaging. What I have before you is a swaging set from CNH 4D Tool and Die, a very first rate company, and they make a good product. Now, this is my first experience at bullet swaging. I've been casting for years, but I wanted to try bullet swaging because I think it's not so much making a bullet faster, but making a bullet that is better. And also, with these dies, it's not like bullet casting where you have one shape and, and one particular mold, you can do all kinds of things with these dies right here. So let me show you what the dies are. This particular die right here is the core seating die and it has its own punch. It's called a core seating punch. It has a concave face on it with a bleed hole. It's a very tiny little hole. And what it'll do is if there's excess material, it'll bleed it out. And when it bleeds out, it looks like a piece of electrician solder. Now this die here is the actual swaging die and this set that I got is the number 101 series which is a two die set as you can see but in this particular one I opted for the hollow point. I think hollow points are more accurate and a little more versatile for what I'm using them for. And it has its own punch. It's flat. This is a swage punch and it um, doesn't have a bleed hole. Now the nice thing about these is you can change um, the bearing surface and the ogive on this, you can make a deep hollow point or almost no hollow point at all. It's a very simple thing to set up, but there's limits. If you're compressing the arm of your press and it feels like you're sizing an oversized case or you really feel like you're putting some effort into it, go ahead and stop because what you're doing is you're overstressing the die and you will probably end up bulging your core seating punch. Most of your pressure is going to be exerted on the core seating punch. So let me go ahead and get this set up. And as you can see, we're going to be using a standard reloading press. Let's get started. Before we actually get started, I need to show you what we're going to be needing in order to do this. You're going to need some lead wire. I opted out of the lead wire because it's expensive and it's, i got to drive about 90 miles to go get it. So I'm using a bullet mold. I'm using the Lee 124 grain truncated cone bullet cast out of pure lead or near pure lead. Um, if you're going to be using jackets, I would recommend getting the Lee 100 grain 30 caliber or 312 caliber uh, for the 32 um, Smith & Wesson in tumble lube configuration because it's hard to get rid of the grease screws on these sometimes and it's great for making a hundred and fifteen grain hollow point I mean it's really great so I'm waiting for that mold to come in uh, the other bullet I use is the hundred and twenty five grain thirty caliber uh, round nose for the thirty carbine it works okay um, but so far these have worked the best and you're going to need a good sized rubber mallet and I am not kidding. You don't want to be beating on this with your hand because it's not going to work. Um, you'll actually end up bruising your, your hand. So I'm going to go ahead and set the camera up where you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to get ahead, go ahead and get started. Okay. What we want to do is set this up like we would a rifle die. Now I'm going to grab the core seating punch. I'm going to go ahead and set it in to the RAM, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and run this up. I want you to pay attention right here, because this is critical. As I'm running this down, you're going to see that that part of the RAM, <coughs> or the, the core seating punch, recesses almost completely into the die. You don't want it to bump like we would with a rifle die. However, we want to make sure that it's fully supported inside the die, otherwise it can bulge. Okay? About the maximum weight you can be able to make with these 9mm dies is about 150 grains. So what I'm going to do is change the angle of my camera here so you can see exactly what's happening. 